Hello, I'm uh, Jonathan Guy Lewis. John. Great, and can you tell us a bit about what you do? Well, I'm playing the French horn in a show called I Found My Horn, which is about a guy having a midlife crisis who rediscovers his passion for playing the French horn, which is something he did as a boy and stopped and comes back to it 31 years later. Great, and what, what is it that you particularly enjoy about your job? As an actor generally, or just in this show particularly? Both. Uh, well, in this show particularly, uh, I heard this book being read on Radio 4 about five years ago, and uh, I used to play the French horn as a boy, and uh, I stopped playing as well. And when I heard the book being read, I thought, this is my story. So I phoned Jasper, and we had lunch, and he auditioned me to see that I could play the French horn, and uh, yeah, he said, uh, let's write a play together. So that's how it evolved, and it's a, an opportunity for me to, to to conquer my demons as well, really, because I had a bad experience when I uh, played a Mozart horn concerto in my school concert, um, and when I heard Jasper talking about his experience, he battled through the demons and carried on and felt so humiliated, he never played again. However, I played the same concerto, but those little demons said, just faint, go on, faint, and it'll be all right. And so I did. I pretended to faint in front of hundreds of parents and boys and, and uh, masters and stuff. And I think that was my first acting performance, actually, was uh, fainting at my school concert. So I didn't pick up the French horn again either. So for me, the real challenge of this play is uh, playing the French horn, actually. So uh, in, a, in, a, in a general sense, uh, what do I love about my work? It's um, telling stories actually, being on stage, telling stories, and um, finding the truth of something and trying to communicate that in, a, in an entertaining, passionate way. Great. Um, um, when was it that you first fell in love with the theatre? I first fell in love with the theatre uh, when I was taken to the Young Vic, when I was about 14. And uh, I stood in line to go and see, I think it was... Uh, it was either Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead, or no, it was um, the real Inspector Hound. So it was definitely Tom Stoppard. And I was queuing up uh, with other people from my school. And at the time, I was rehearsing The White Devil, Bracciano, Duke of Bracciano. Wonderful, you know, you know, big Webster, lots of blood and gore and everything. And uh, we'd just been rehearsing the bit where Bracciano gets assassinated, and uh, he's garroted. It's a really horrific. Horrible death, fantastic when you're sort of 16, 14, no, 14, doing that kind of thing. And um, anyway, I was standing there and this, this guy kind of, uh, sort of in his 50s, I suppose, bald with a beard, sort of, sort of uh, said hello. And I said hello back. And he said, um, so, you know, you at school, what are you doing here? And I explained and uh, I said, oh, no, I'm rehearsing this uh, one of the play, uh, The White Devil. No, no, I know The White Devil. So we started chatting about that and then I went in. And he said, because um, I said, well, I'd quite, be quite interested in perhaps working in the theatre as an actor. He said, oh, you know, maybe you should, if you're interested, maybe you should come and work here. And I said, oh, I'd absolutely love to. He gave me his card, and his name was Frank Dunlop, and he started the Young Vic. That was his wow. theatre. So I went to see him, and uh, he gave me a job, working front of house at the Young Vic when I was, when I was you know, quite young, 14, 15. And I did that for three years, which was very exciting at the mm -hmm. time. And uh, of course, little did I realise, but he'd done a very famous production of The White Devil. <laughs> so there he was, you know, they're telling him how it should be done. And he'd done a very famous award-winning production of The White Devil. Lovely. And um, what advice would you give your younger self? What advice would I give my younger self? Um, in terms of acting, it's not a race. Um, if you want to have a career, you have to be adept at being able to do many other things as well as act. And uh, especially because of the, the, the way the business is evolving now in terms of what one can do as an actor. I think you have to be fairly flexible and adaptable to doing other stuff. So um, be patient and uh, remember it's supposed to be fun. <laughs> Very good advice. And finally, if your life was a musical, what would the grand finale be? my life was a musical, the grand finale would be, um, I think it would be something from Man of La Mancha, 
I don't think the musical Man of La Mancha, the, to dream the impossible dream, I think, just before Don Quixote pegs out and dies on the bed. But that would be me, sort of like, to dream the impossible dream. Yeah, that would be me. Yeah, I'll settle for that.